Hey everybody, we are back for some more Fallout 4. Uh, as you can see, I am at a farm staffed entirely by robots. Because that's a thing. Because Fallout 4 is awesome. Um, I've also changed my armor up a little bit. Uh, I've decided that it would be a little bit tedious to try and record every second of play that I have in this game. And this gives me a chance to, you know, focus on the fun and interesting things. Like that thing that just popped up. There it goes. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running oh low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Wow, that sounds like a quest hook if I ever heard one. So yeah, um, so probably my Let's Play videos are going to be on things that I find interesting or especially unique, rather than just every second I spend wandering the wasteland. Although, I've, if there's demand for it, I may pepper in a few, this is an hour of me wandering around episodes. But for now, we have a quest to do, and I am going to go check it out. Oop, I hear gunfire already. Ooh. Somebody in power armor. Yeah, punch the ghouls. Nope, not right, everyone. Yeah! Wow. Well, hello there. I thought he was getting some. Don't mind me, just looting the dead bodies. Hey. Mr. Doriel. Yeah, that'll do for now, I think. Oh, Hi. hello. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Do, 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 do. I'll be sarcastic. Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading <laughs> my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Well, you're kind of a dick. Um, hmm. Sure, let's just be I'm straight. From Sanctuary them. Hills, on the other side of Concord. I've seen the location on our maps, but I've never visited the area myself. There isn't much over there for us to collect. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Alrighty. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try it. That all depends. How much are you paying? We need allies, not opportunistic mercenaries. Oh. I have no inclination to pay for your services. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Agreed. The more we know, the better we may. Assist. I'm gonna have to get Very used well. to playing a lower charisma character. Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over Ooh. there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Yeah, sure, why not? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. 
That reminds me, I recently acquired a new gun. Where'd it go? There it is. I'm going to f make it one of my favorites. Don't have much ammo for it, though. In fact, less than an entire Bailey, clip. Take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's okay. move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I will take those. So, the Brotherhood of Steel gets introduced pretty early. Uh, for those not familiar with them, they first show up in Fallout 1 and have been pretty much a staple of the entire series. And essentially, they are the remnants of the former U.S. military that have kind of adopted a sort of looking for not quite feudalistic but sort of a you know medieval knight approach to military stuff and they're one of the more powerful and advanced organizations in the wastelands and they go around looking for technology and kind of hoarding it you're all hard, so so they're they've got a reputation for being a little racist and xenophobic, but sometimes it varies how they're portrayed from game to game. Because there's also like different factions of the Brotherhood, depending on which game you're in. Because there's the West Coast, the East Coast, there's the Midwest. All have their own sort of Brotherhood faction. All right, I think I should be good. How's security looking? Let's go ahead and put on a helmet or something. Actually, that gives me a little bit more damage resistance. Let's try that. Are we going to be able to hold out here? This building's looks pretty bad. solid. We should be safe enough. Yeah. Unless a behemoth decides to pay us a visit. Hey, I if that happens, is. we won't last long enough to worry about it. Paladin dance. You ready to move out? Ready? Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind. You know, standing around here like there's nothing to do. Paladin dances waiting for you. Dude, I just talked to him. What the hell. Anyway. Yeah, this Paladin dance guy. I don't know about him. He seems a little uptight. We'll see though. I can tell you already though, from just doing a little bit of you know, derping around with uh building my settlement and stuff. It has been very hard to resist taking the uh, various like blacksmith armor and whatnot perks because I'm like, oh, I could make that except I don't have the perk. But I'm I'm gonna try and. The west. If you take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Okay, but uh. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy in the area. Are we half rats now, sir? We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. Hmm. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our okay. job to investigate. But yeah, but I'm, I'm going to try and stay committed to not taking any of the crafting perks and seeing how I do. Because so far I haven't really felt like they've held me back, just, you know, I look at something I want and go like, eh, okay, I can't get it quite yet. Namely, like, the power armor enhancements. Because, like, you need, I think for almost any of them, beyond just the most basic stuff. Whoa, hello. You need, uh, science or armor or whatever. And there's some fun, fun power armor enhancements. Just take all of this. Oop. It might surprise you to learn that my recon team isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Over really? the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. 
They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. It's kind of fun listening to him, though. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them. He seems really forthcoming now, you know? He was all suspicious. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing. Well, that's awful... Deterministic of you? I don't know. No, not deterministic. Determined. Ah, bugs! Go away! I don't want to waste ammo on you. Aw, oh, doggies. It does make me sad that you have to fight dogs. Like, come on, man. They're just dogs. It's not their fault. His power armor looks a lot nicer than mine. I wonder if I can get that suit. I wonder if they'll let you join the Brotherhood of Steel this early. That'd be kind of snazzy. There it is. Arc Jet Systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security. So we'll head in through the front. I mean, it seems like a rather confident assumption. Shouldn't be any exterior security. I mean, we haven't gotten shot yet, so I guess he's right. Then there's probably only a front entrance anyway. All right, let's do this. I do dig how uh, Fallout 4 has a wide variety of what are essentially dungeons, insofar as like pre-war ruins and buildings. It was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited. I feel like they have a good variety. Pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they. Well, dance getting political. I can dig it. Well, that's a lot of broken robots. I will take that, thank you. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated. Dance. You're saying? Look at these wrecks. There we go. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. What, what? Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Oh, now you're just splitting hairs. Meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't I mean, be what do you call power exist. armor? Is that not an improvement on humanity? What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. Well then. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. Okay then. So, looks like we're going to get our first taste of synths. This place is a mess. But I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. You do that. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna... Alrighty. Oh, hello. Nice. Manual reminder to change your password. Reconnoiter. Speaking of reconnoiter, I'm going to see if there's anything oops, worth taking. Nice pre-war money. See, pre-war money is marked as junk, but it's like worth three caps a piece. So it's basically uh, freaking uh, free money, alternate money. All right. I don't think we're. Punching robots. Huh. 
Yeah, punching doesn't seem to be terribly effective against these guys. Ooh, laser guns. Paladin dance. Shock baton. Oh, he's having more fun. Yes, you can use bats for guns too. Which I realize I clearly do. Dang, it's getting heavy in here. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh shoot. Dang it! Oh. I saw I was low on health and I tried to use a stim pack. I need to just pause it and use stim packs. Using them in combat is silly. Oh, and I have drugs I can use now. I need to remember those. And I gotta do this part again. Do do do. It was corporations like this. The last nail in the coffin for mankind. Yeah, yeah, probably. Technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they've done. I mean, I'm all down with your anti corporate message here, but uh I've heard it before. This stuff. Paladin dance. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security. Good. Less security to worry about. Negative. There's nothing good about it. Oh. Look at the evidence. These robots were assaulted by Institute since. I'll be on the lookout. Roger then. Yeah, we've been through this. Dun. This place is a mess. But I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Get this. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Open the door. That's probably a waste of a trade, but I feel justified. Yeah, they actually have the blocking and hitting mechanic in melee. It's actually pretty cool. Like, it takes a little bit of getting used to, and, you know, it's not as, like, tight as more action-oriented games, but uh, it's not bad. Oh, he also cooked up a bunch of meat and from the dead animals and whatnot. I'm killing. All right, let's uh, let's take this a bit more seriously. All right, Cosworth's got him. I hope. Oh, hello. Just disarm that real quick. Loot these guys. I didn't mean to do that. Actually, maybe I should wait. I don't know. Is there anything cool in there? Damn synths have compromised most of the facility. Well, dance is in there. Oh, there's a ramp over there, I think. Yes. Rock that in no time. Okay, dance, wait up. Remain vigilant. We've got turrets ahead. Hell yeah. Nice. Project notes. Check those later. Uh, oh, that's good. Take this 
You are all about the Brotherhood, aren't you, Dance? No prisoners. I realize that's a stock phrase, but I don't think we were going to take the turret prisoner anyway. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see, these things are great because they give me the circuitry I so desperately need to make uh, turrets for the various uh, you know settlements and whatnot. Which I'm actually kind of of two minds about. Nope, oh, I'm overburdened. Hey. Because I put a lot of effort into building settlements in my first playthrough. And I don't know. I mean, it was handy. I'm just not sure if I'm going to go quite that far this time. I may just end up using one or two settlements. Because I tell you what, though, like, because your settlements Engine get attacked, ahead. like, all the Should time. You've always got to go and make sure they're still doing okay, make sure they have enough beds, make sure they're not being attacked by raiders. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. So, I don't know. Oop, what was that? I saw something. Oh well. Oh, there it is again. Look at this place. Describes a field day. There it is. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have wow. to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. One would think. Out the maintenance area off the main chamber. I'll remain here. We'll yeah, I think I'll save here just in case. Do, do, do. Let's see what we got here. The junk jet. Look at that thing. They've actually had kind of some variation of this weapon in all of the Fallout games since three. Let's see what they have to say about it. Hearing, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine. I'm sure he took shop class. Oh look, he's reading the science mag. How cute. Ha ha ha. Oop. Sure. Take that. <laughs> nice. Oh wow. Got it first off. Yay, power. Engine core power restored. But yeah, basically you can Thermal engine throw fuel. junk in it. Climbed and standing command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. I'm curious how this is going to work. Three. His dance is in there. Two. I hope this doesn't blow him up. I mean, he's kind of a jerk, but... Okay, he seems to be still be okay. Ish. Test firing okay. completed with an efficiency rating of ninety six point seven percent. Oh my god, are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The hey. important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Well, he seems to be taking being roasted alive 
by uh, rocket engines fairly well. I mean, I'd be kind of ticked, but, you know. Man. You know, I was just... Yeah, I'm going to make a killing when I sell all these, but first I actually need to find a place I can really sell stuff, because I don't think I've found one of those yet. Going down. May have to make for the city. Yeah, that was actually a big difference I noticed because in like, have a problem here. Not getting past me. Uh oh. Because in three in New Vegas, you found yourself a town like right off the bat. In this, it's been a while, or it's I have not actually found a uh, big settlement. <laughs> ah. <laughs> And Codsworth, why you gotta look down on my drug problem? So yeah, this is Psychojet I just took, which, as you can see, slows time and uh, <clears throat> boosts your damage for a while. Fan out and check the synth remains. They may have been after the transmitter as well. Oh, I guess I got it off of one of them already. Or no, that's that's the. Mm. If you see me jump like that at total random. It's because there's a bug in this game where sometimes you'll just like stop being Let's able to get move. Out. Oh, there it is. Take the service elevator to the surface. All right, I'm gonna check for loot real quick. Quick save. Yeah, I don't really see anything else. But yeah, the chems in Fallout games have always been kind of a staple. You know, they give you various temporary buffs, but you can become addicted, which will result in debuffs if you don't take it. And it's it's a whole thing. And before, I think it was New Vegas, really, I didn't bother with them because it was just a little bit too much trouble to deal with. But in 4, they're actually really useful. So I use them every now and again, but a lot of companions... Looks clear. Let's move out. Don't particularly like it, which is a little annoying, but not unmanageable. Just taking random junk. Never know when it might be useful. God damn it, that's what's going away. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. Aww. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That I... being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. Hmm. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I thought you said you I weren't going to pay me. Weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May okay. it serve you well in battle. Heck yeah. That's pretty snazzy. That isn't necessary. I insist you keep it. The Brotherhood believes in paying all of its debts. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had oh. a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The well then. I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, hmm. what do you say? Heck yeah! 
I'd be honored to join. Surely with their resources, we'll be able to find young Sean. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. Heck yeah. I'm gonna be in the Brotherhood of Steel. I wonder if it's as awesome as it is in other games. Because, generally speaking, joining the... Yeah, you just stand there, dance. Play with that forklift. Um... Because generally speaking, in the other Fallout games, joining the Brotherhood of Steel means getting power armor or combat armor, access to all kinds of fun weapons, but generally speaking, they're still kind of jerks. So, we'll see how that works out. And I still got a little bit of time, so... Yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and head back to the police station. See how things go. Now, I have played through this before, so I do kind of know what goes on with the Brotherhood of Steel and the plot as a whole. I actually didn't join this early the first time. Um, so I'm curious to see how that works cuz I joined after a significant event kind of changed the Brotherhood standing in this area. So this will be a uh, a little bit new for me. Oh yeah, I've been here. Yeah, this is there's the farm run by robots. And actually, oh, I leveled up. I actually leveled up a couple times off screen. I took toughness and commando. Um, I think this level, yes, this means I can give get uh, my next level of iron fist. Ooh. Right on. I'm just going to take a look real quick see if there's anything else I want to grab. Yeah, I can't. I <laughs> can't take the next level of Blitz to level 29. Um, yeah, I'll take Iron Fist. It, it is hard every time not taking any of the crafting perks because, oh, I want those sweet, sweet mods. I want those upgrades. But no, I'm going to try it without. Because I do know there's, like, at shops and stuff, you can buy... Because without, even without any of the crafting perks, you can attach mods you have to weapons. You just can't craft them wholesale. So, like, if I bought three guns that all had mods I wanted, I could put them all on the same gun. Even if I didn't have any of the crafting perks. Same goes with, like, armor and stuff, so... I'm... I don't think I'll be handicapping myself too much by doing this. What the? What was that? Oh, holy shoot. That's... That is Super Mutants. Try out this new Iron Fist perk. Dang. I actually messed them up. <laughs> ah, Cosworth, you're alright. So, definitely looks like they have Super Mutants back. Super Mutants are actually another one of those staples of the Fallout universe. Because, yeah, they've been in every game since one... Their role has changed a bit over the games, although since Fallout... Actually, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 kind of have them in the same role as, you know, post-apocalyptic orcs, essentially. You know, they're, they're there to be tougher versions of raiders and, you know, mostly an encounter. I'm curious if there is any further plot with them in this, because I actually didn't find anything, like, quest-wise regarding Super Mutants in my last playthrough. So, and they never really explain where they come from because, like, it's canon that the Super Mutants all come from one military base in the Midwest and, like, have since spread to other areas and some of them have set up, you know, new areas to make new Super Mutants, but they always kind of, at one point, reveal, oh yeah, the Super Mutants in this region are coming from here because they gotta come from somewhere. But I haven't found out where they come from in Fallout 4 yet. So maybe I'll get to discover that this time around. Dance. Glad to see you 
alive and well, sir. I'm gonna take off my hat because I might be doing some talking. Sir, mission accomplished. We have the transmit. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. That's right. Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Oh yeah. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Let's just hug this out and get it over with. What do you say? <laughs> you can play it however you want, tough guy. It's gonna take a lot more than completing one mission to impress me. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army, and we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Hmm. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll I find it amusing he just kind of accepts that. For two things from despite what head. spending time in the Honestly, military kind of respect. implies in, in this line, world. You stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Fair enough. Outstanding, soldier. Ad Yay. Victorium Initiate. I'm an Initiate. You don't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes. Defeat. I mean, I could have studied Latin. You don't know my life. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. No power armor? Fine. Alright, well this is in a slightly disappointing journey into the Brotherhood of Steel. But I think I will call it here. Um, this has been a fun little thing. It was nice knocking out that quest, and I enjoyed recording this Let's Play. I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day.